Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. How to identify adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, and uracil if all the five structures are given in your MCQs? Okay, let's start. So, if in exam you are given these five structures and you are asked which one among them is adenine, and then to identify the adenine, just distort the name of the adenine to add amine. So, what does add amine mean? Adenine means that the structure of the adenine must have an amine group added to it. So, if we see among these five structures, we can see that this structure has an amine group added to it. This is the second structure that has amine in it. And this is the third structure that has amine added to it. So, how you can identify among these three the actual adenine structure? To identify adenine, you must follow another rule. That is, you only add amine and nothing else. If you see, then we are left with only one structure. That is this one, which has been added only with amine group and nothing else. So this must be adenine. On the other hand, if we see the rest of the two structures, we can see that they have two branches. One is amine and the other one is oxygen. Similarly, the other structure has also amine group and oxygen. So this one is surely an adenine structure. Okay, now if you have been asked about guanine, then how will you identify guanine among these five structures? The method is just to start the name again, make it guanine and oamine. So both of these distorted names must be in your mind to identify guanine. So what does oamine mean? O-amine means that the structure must have an oxygen atom that is O and an amine group. So let's see which of these structures have both oxygen and amine group. The first structure is this that has both amine and oxygen group. The second one is this. So how will you identify which one is guanine among these two? The second thing you must keep in mind is goamine. This goamine means that amine must have left its position that it possessed in some similar structure. So if we see the similar structures of this compound, then the similar structure of this compound are this one and this one. And if we see both of these structures do not contain an amine group. So this amine group has not left its previous place that it had possessed in some other similar structure. On the other hand, if we see the similar structure for this compound is this one. And in this compound, we see that the amine group was attached on this carbon. So it means that in this structure, this amine group must have left its place which it had previously possessed in this structure at carbon number 6, I think. And this has left its this position and has reattached to this position. So goamine means amine has gone from here to here. And oamine means that it has both oxygen and amine group attached to it. So, goamine and oamine. So, this must be goanine. The next nitrogen base we are going to identify is thymine. So, which one is thymine among these five structures? To identify thymine, you must remember one rule that is the T rule. Take the first letter T from thymine and see the T has three branches. Branch number one, branch two, and branch three. Now search for the compound that has three branches attached to the rings. If you see, then only this structure has three branches attached to it. Branch number one, branch two, and branch three. So this must be thymine. If we see the rest of the structures, then we can see that this compound has two branches. This one has also two branches, two branches and only one branch. So this is the only compound that has three branches, just like T has three branches. So this is the thymine. 
To identify your SM, take the first letter U from your SM. U has two branches. Branch 1 and branch 2. Now search for the structure that has two branches. So one of the compound is this that has two branches. Another one has two branches. And the third structure that has two branches is this one. So which one among these three is uracil? To identify uracil among these three structures, we have another rule. U has two identical branches, that is this one and this one. Both of these branches are straight and they are identical. So among these three, only one of these three has identical branches, which is this one. This compound has two dissimilar branches. Similarly, this compound has two dissimilar branches while you and this structure both have similar or identical branches. So this compound must be uracil. Our last slide contains the summary of all the rules and the method to identify the last structure that is cyrosine. So which one is cyrosine? So first of all, revise all the rules. Adenine. To identify adenine, we distorted the name to add amine and we said it must contain only amine group. So this one was the structure that was added only with amine group. The second was goanine. We distorted the name to goamine and oamine. And we found this structure that contained O and amine both. And according to the second rule, that is goamine, amine has gone from this place to this place. So this was goanine. Third one was thymine. In thymine, we took the letter T from thymine, which had three branches similar to this structure that also had three branches. So this one is thymine. While to identify uracil, I told you that U in uracil has two identical branches, just like this structure, which has also two identical branches, that is oxygens. So this one was uracil. So which one is cyrosine? Now, we are only left with one structure. The structure left at the end must be cyrosine. So this one is cyrosine. So keep watching my videos. I will be telling you more interesting things in my coming videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.